Okay, so I am taking a load to Houston, Texas. Um, I won't be there for like another two days. Well, I'll be there on Monday. It's Friday. So I picked up my load at this customer that um, there's like no contact right now because of the coronavirus. So um, we don't go inside to check in. We don't go inside to check out. They email us our bill of ladings, which is kind of stupid because we have to go somewhere and get it printed out. Anyways, last time I didn't get it printed out. I just had no clue what was going on. I thought like the customers would get the bill of lading through email through them because I thought that they were emailing it to the customers as well. Yeah, so I got that printed out. I scaled my load. I didn't record any of this because I'm doing a terrible job, but I figured, you know, um, why don't I take you guys along with me? on a route that is a thousand one hundred miles and then from there which I'm not going to record all of this but from there from Houston I'm taking a thousand two hundred mile run up to Wisconsin and then a thousand one hundred mile run home so this is going to be a good good week so let's go to Texas right now I'm parked at a truck stop I've never been to no clue what's there to eat, but at least I got TV dinners, right? Okay, let's get going. Good morning. So, um, I have, I'm still on my load to go to Texas, obviously, because it's only a Saturday. So, I am about to start my day. It's 10 minutes to 8. I got my frappe from McDonald's um, and then I got oatmeal it's like super hot right now let's see it is 86 degrees my throat's been really itchy because of allergies and ran out of tissues so I had to get tissues wow my face is like hella fucking great I just like don't know what's wrong with this GoPro like I don't know how to get the settings to not make my face so stupid bright Anyways, I had to get, what do you call these? Cough drops. My throat's been so itchy because of the allergies. I know that my frappe's not gonna help it, but I've been really down lately, so I need to pick me up. Anyways, I'm about to eat my yogurt, go do my pre-trip, and then we will be off to Texas, which we won't get there today. Um, I'm still not going to get there until Sunday, but we will just see how everything goes. Really hot. I'm, I'm already dying. I haven't even started my day. So I guess I should mention I am 957 miles away from Houston, Texas. I'm currently in Champaign, Illinois. So. Yeah, um, I'll be there pretty early on Sunday, Monday. Okay, good talk. I have like maybe five extra hours on this load. So I'm just gonna chill out tonight. I have a, yeah, I don't know. Okay, good talk, good talk. It's hot, I'm dying. Look at my new tires. So lovely.
30 minute break, which is actually almost over, but I want to like take another 30 minute break. So I was considering walking to Walmart, which is 11 minute walk, which isn't bad, but it is, my phone says it's 89 degrees. My truck says that it's 99 degrees. So I just walked to the truck stop to use the bathroom and I like melted on the way. So I'm not going to Walmart. I didn't like any of the food that was there. Everyone like left reviews that it had a really good barbecue, but I don't really like barbecue food. And I don't like corn dogs from truck stops. It was mashed potatoes and a bunch of other regular truck stop food. So I'm just gonna eat this. I'm gonna take my 30 minute. All right, there's some more driving footage. stop that I am staying at for the night and I'm gonna come over here see if I can get some interesting pictures so yesterday I shut down um, at this really huge dirt lot truck stop and then I walked over to the back and was wandering around I was just kind of being adventurous um, and I went to go take some pictures. And super scratched up my legs. I was just so on my knee. There was like three different times that a thorn just went into my knee. Just stuck in there. Super thorny. Berry bushes everywhere. So yeah, I took some pictures last night. Um, now it is 8.30, I only have about 300 miles to go, I want to go take a shower, it's about 80 miles away, the truck stop I want to go to that has showers that are clean. Um, so I have 300 and th 320 miles to go, my appointment's probably like 50 miles away or 40 miles away from that, it's in Houston. 
Houston, so I don't want to park in Houston because of everything that's going on. Um, plus, all the local drivers probably have their trailers dropped everywhere in Houston, so I'm not even going to try. So, yeah, it's going to be an early day, um, and then my appointment's not until 8 tomorrow, so I have lots of time. So, let's get going. Hopefully there's some, like, good footage or something. I don't know.
which is right next to me. I don't know if you can see it. It's like off, off, off. This is supposed to be the guard shack. It's all gated. I don't even know what's going on. I don't even see a building. It's like this whole place is just closed. I don't even know what's going on. It's like this place is shut down. It looks like they like tore down the building or something. This is where I'm supposed to be making my delivery. It's not very flattering. <laughs> um, so I got to where my co-pilot sent me and where um, the local direction sent me. First of all, um, my appointment was at five, not at eight. So there was nothing there. There wasn't even a building. There was just a guard shack and then gates. So that happened. Um, then I finally got here to the customers. And there was a trailer like in the way of where I needed to back up into. So I was like really kind of having problems backing and then I was going to try to do a 90 and then that still was like in the way and then finally someone pulled it, pulled the trailer forward. It's like, I don't know if you can see that trailer. There was another trailer right next to it. Um, so really kind of hard for me to back so that took a while so but I'm here it's 5 30 I'm in Houston after this I have another um, load to pick up and then I'm heading to Wisconsin and then I'm heading home I was supposed to be home on Friday but that's not gonna happen so I'm probably gonna get home late on Saturday so that kind of sucks but at least I got some miles this week and I got to go to Texas, so that's cool. Uh, I didn't film anything while I was like opening the doors or while I was trying to back because it's really busy here. It's dark out anyway, so I don't think you guys would have really been able to see much anyways. So yeah, I got up at 3.15 this morning to make sure I got here. I was trying to get here by four, but didn't get here, didn't get to the place until 4.30. It was the wrong place anyways, so I didn't get here until like 5, which is when my appointment was. Oh, well, like 4.50, something like that. I'm tired, it's hot, it's 90 degrees, and it's like 5.30 in the morning. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to chill out and probably go take a nap. I'm probably going to be here for a few hours. CNS sucks. You suck everywhere, no matter what state you're in. Good job, now I have to fucking find a place to go sweep it all out. <laughs> 